What's up, everybody? Welcome to the original Next Level Gaming. I am Mike Mullis, and it is Sonic time. Sega! Oh, lovely. So, you guys know what this is. It's been a long time coming. Sonic Mania. The Return of the King. This gives me so many memories. So many memories. Alright, there is an intro video. I don't want to spoil it for you guys, so if you uh, want to watch the intro video, you can find it online if you really try. But, buy the game. Of course. So, alright, we're going to get started here. I've been waiting for Sonic to come back in a big way, and uh, we're about to we're about to see it. Um, I gotta say, you know, the last time for me that I really enjoyed Sonic the Hedgehog was Sonic Adventure for the Dreamcast. And I know, so look, I know Sonic Dream uh, Sonic Adventure got it got panned as you know, well, it's a, you know, 3D Sonic. It wasn't really Sonic's you know, blah, blah, blah. I disagree. I think it was one of the well-made 3D Sonic games that came out. And I played Sonic 3D Blast and enjoyed that. But, you know. Now, obviously, Sonic 2, probably the best of the cartridge. And then of overall, Sonic CD was probably the best. All right, never mind my rambling. Let's get to this. So under options, under video, you can get a... There's different screen filters. You get clean, nothing at all. So you get that. You might or might not be able to see it. There's a little bit of the clean gives a little bit of that TV blurriness, like if you're playing it with a composite cable. And then CRT, if you <laughs> want to get that old monitor look. And then a soft CRT. I'm going to go with none for now because I want... Actually, you know what? No. I'm going to go with clean because I want people to see it as it was kind of intended. All right. Sound, music, and sound effects. I'm going to turn the sound effects down a little bit. Just a hair. And then controls. Pretty simplistic. Look up. Crouch and spin. Move. And jump, jump. Now, notice that the controls are being shown on D-pad course in the old days on the Genesis you didn't have an analog stick so if you want to use the d-pad that's great the analog stick does work as well and then whatever language you want we're gonna stick with English all right mania mode okay so for the purpose of this I'd already played a little bit we streamed some of it uh, on our Mixer channel, which you can find at mixer.com slash OG underscore NL Gaming. And, uh, but that's okay. We're going to start a fresh game just to show you guys what's up. Now, you can actually play in a couple different modes here. You can play as Sonic and Tails. You can play as Knuckles, as Tails, or just Sonic. So if you want the... If you want the total Sonic, the original... Sonic uh, experience, you can go with that. We're going to go with Sonic and Tails, and maybe in another video we'll do Knuckles, because Knuckles is a little bit different level design. We're going to go with Sonic and Tails. <laughs> and that should look familiar. Sonic the Hedgehog soundtrack. 
Green Hill Zone 1. I love the remix. Sounds awesome. Now, here's something that uh, comes from... Well, hang on, we'll just use this real quick. It's funny, you can... You can seriously just do whatever you need. Ah, with tails. Shoot. That's all right. So here's what's cool about using both. So in the original Sonic the Hedgehog, of course, you were only Sonic. They did not introduce tails until they didn't introduce tails until Sonic 2. So using them here, you can do some cool things which I'll show you in a second. And you also have some of these new shields. So this gives you a little extra jump and a little, little shot of electricity there. All right, I didn't want to do So here's what Tails allows you to do. So if we want to come up here. And he'll grab you and he can pull you up. And there you go. Also, this shield, as you can see, it draws the rings to you. There we go. Wow. rings, which means I get an extra, extra person, extra Sonic, extra person, and there's a uh, little bouncy, alright, nothing up there, now somewhere, not mean to do that. But at least I had a shield and I didn't lose all my rings. Come on, Tails, get up here. Flying a little too high, Tails. There we go. Ah, no! Special Chaos Emerald Ring, which gets you to a special stage. There it is. I was just saying. All right, so in the special stage, you have to catch the catch this UFO that's running off with the Chaos Emerald, and you have to take these blue the blue balls speed you up, and the rings give you more time. So you see, uh, rings give you a couple of seconds extra time to go chase this guy. I might get him quick though. 
Chaos Emerald down. As you can see, there are seven total. Oh, come on. One ring to rule them all. That's my bonus. Oh! Eleven rings. <laughs> Ooh, little remix. So the level design in this is a little different. Hello, Extra Sonic. Alright, so... Oh, come on. Let go. Let go. Okay, so this is a chance for a bonus stage. Now these bonus stages are from... Uh, these bonus stages, I believe, are from Sonic 1. And the whole idea is to get all of the... All the blue and turn them red. But you can't touch the red. <laughs> now, the game is in 60 frames per second, and so you should see that in this video. I can tell you that the original game was not, as far as uh, this stage goes, because it was trying, you know, the Genesis was trying to do a pseudo 3D effect. So, it, you know, it couldn't push it kind of like the Xbox and PlayStation 4 and Switch can. And by the way, for those who are asking who might want to know, um, this is a game that 
you sh it, I don't think it matters what platform you play it on. Uh, I'm playing, there we go, I'm playing it on the Xbox One simply because I could play it, talk to my friends, stuff like that, but buying it on the uh, PS4, buying it on the Nintendo Switch, um, any of these will be a great option for you. And in fact, being, if I'm being honest, uh, getting it on the Switch means you can get it on the go, which is not a bad idea either. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, hang on. It's a chance to get another. All right, let's try it again. Now it gets a little harder. The, that's the pattern you want, is a zigzag pattern. You do not want to try to go outside in, because if you touch any of the red spheres, then the stage is over. So you got to be careful how you attack this. So I always recommend the zigzag pattern. That you see me do it here. Just up, down, and back. And that should get you square. Ow! And that's what happens. Alright, now up there was another ring. We get another Chaos Emerald. So, Tails, come help me out, brother. Ah. It's all right. Come here. There we go. All right, let's get up here. Beautiful, and into the ring. All right. So let's go get ourselves another Chaos Emerald. Now, I'm going to give you guys a, a hint. What you don't want to do in these stages is you don't want to go crazy trying to collect. All right? Use the collections for what they're intended for. Yes, you're going to get a bonus for the amount of rings and stuff like that. But your main goal of this is to get the emerald. So don't worry so much about collecting all the, shoot, all the rings and stuff, except that you need the rings for time. There we go. Right, 38 seconds. That should give me... Should give me some time to catch him. Yeah, I got him. It's mine. 44 seconds. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Boom. Haha, <laughs> nicely done. And an extra man. Those almost those get you almost every time. Whoa! Careful! So that is a fire shield. Pushes you forward. 
can also propel you forward. Makes it kind of hard for Tails to grab you. Tell you what, let's try again. I know. Oh, that's right, you can jump. If you find yourself getting, if you find yourself in a jam, you can attempt to jump. I forgot about that. I do not recommend that you use that unless you absolutely have to. <sighs> yeah, I messed myself up. If you don't get that down right... What? Ooh, another ring. Let's go get another Chaos Emerald, shall we? Oh, got it. I should just get on out. I was never great with getting rings and keeping them. I mean, I could get them. I was never great at keeping them. I'm not going to lie. Plant zone. God, brings back so much good memory. Oh, 
See, this was what was cool about this. So you had different areas you could go to. You could choose kind of your own path in this particular level based on where you went. Tails. Yo, Tails. All right, good enough. here okay nope so this is definitely a, a welcome feature to have All right. just in case sometimes sometimes there were hit stuff like here see I if I just bounce there, and I couldn't go this way. In case. Alright. Up. Ah. I don't know why that happens. Right. Oh, let's see if we can get up there. Hey, you never know. See, like I said, it's totally choose your own adventure. Alright, although I don't think I can get back up there.
Come on. Well, two rings. Tails. Nope. Oh, there's something there though. Four. 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 Come on. Oh, there's the ring. There we go. It gets Chaos Emerald. Plenty of chances to come back to it. Back up, back up, back up. Yeah, I see them. Come on, Tails, get me up there. Come on, Tails, get me up there, buddy. Yep, I knew I saw. Can't go any higher. <laughs> You gotta be fast too. You gotta be very, very tough on these. Yeah. 
So close. Into the tubes, flyboy. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Now this, this was a game that was addictive as all get out. So I'll set this up for you. Tetris at one point was of course all the rage, right? Tetris type games. And uh, Nintendo came out with a game called Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario was sort of a spin on Tetris, except it was... It was like little prescription pills of different colors, and you had to match all the colors up. All fine and dandy. So not to be outdone with that, and with the Genesis already have done games like uh, Columns, which was sort of a Tetris match the color kind of game. It was more match the colors than it was shapes. After Dr. Mario came out, Sega countered with Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. And this was that game. As you see, as I'm matching up the colors, and they're matching up the colors. And I'm not. I'm not concentrating enough. Um, I'm getting these blocks across mine, and he's getting blocks across his. The more I match up, the more blocks I send across his way to block him from stuff. This was addicting. This was all these games. I'm pretty sure I'm going to win. There we go. Sorry, Egg. So, another thing. It's funny because Dr. Robotnik was the name of of course, the villain, but not here. So, just a little bit of a uh, little bit of history for you. In Japan, when Sonic came out, the bad guy was called Doctor Eggman. And later on, in later in later versions of Sonic in the U.S., um, Eggman became the name too. But for whatever reason. They didn't like they didn't like that name. So in the US, they renamed him to Dr. Robotnik because Oh, 
hang on, this piano track, wow. Ah! Sorry, I was distracted. This is a neat soundtrack. I love, love, love this soundtrack. So anyway, um, because they called him Dr. Robotnik because, as, as you see, all of the uh, all the little enemies and things that you have to battle are all pretty much robotic. So, you know, just to... No! Oh man, I'm not used to this level at all because this is new, so we're just gonna... This is kind of a, a take on Chemical Zone. Really nice soundtrack.
One of the things that you have to kind of figure out is you know, there's times in these levels where you can stop and kind of get get things that you wouldn't normally do when you're going so fast. Like that. I gotta start this thing all over again? Alright, well... The edit I just did is because my time was... it gave me a time over. You and me. Bring it on.
Act 1. <laughs> to show you how long this game is. Come on down, Tails. That's what I wanted. Hell. You just gotta time it perfectly. idea what that is, but hey. Hard to do it on a. Uh, there we go. It's hard to do on a on a ramp. Oh, 
Oh, that's neat. Man, they don't give you much time at all to do anything in this level. You've got to go, you got to go, you got to go. things fast see that's not that's what I'm saying if you don't if you don't slow down you miss all of this stuff notice I haven't had a chaos emerald let me come over here I haven't had a chaos emerald ring sighting in a while I'm here, Tails. Interesting. And oh my goodness, 175 rings. Yeah. <laughs> 
So the flying battery zone, huh? Oh, look at that. shield. Alright folks, I'll tell you what. I know I've shown you quite a bit. I don't know that I I don't know that I want to spoil any more of this for you. You should play this for yourself. I think it's pretty straightforward, uh my thoughts on this game. This is the return of to me it's the return of Sonic. I could play this a lot. So there's also a competition mode in the game. Oh, that was dumb. Not even thinking I'm talking about it. There's a competition mode in this game for one player or two player. This is also couch co-op. So if you uh, if you have a friend, you can play as Tails. You can play as Sonic. I guess I gotta go this way. And have yourself a blast. Maybe I go down this way. All right, folks. Let's just uh, save it here. Hope you've enjoyed this playthrough of... Ah, Super Peel Out from Sonic's ability from Sonic CD is now unlocked. That was his move where he could run in place instead of spinning and take off. I wonder if that is in... Nope. Okay. All right, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this great playthrough of Sonic Mania. We're going to call it here. And uh, maybe we'll do another video on Knuckles next time. Until then, don't forget to check out all the great content on our channel. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. If you're already subscribed to the Next Level Gaming channel, thank you very much. Tell a friend. Make sure you check out all of our great videos from myself, from Peter Hutink, HGK, from Juan Gallardo, Crazy Juan, who does some great retro stuff for us, and then catch us on Sunday nights at 9 p.m. on the original Next Level Gaming podcast live. Be part of our chat room. All right, guys. Leave comments below. Let me know if you bought the game. Let me know if you are enjoying the game. Let me know if this video pushed you towards buying the game and any other feedback you want to give us. All right, guys, we'll see you soon. Everybody have a great, great rest of your week, weekend, and play on, gamers.